In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to add hyperlinks to your website. Now, a hyperlink is just basically a link from one page to another page. It could be within your website or it could be from your website to somebody else's website. Let's take a look at a common use. So, for example, here in our demonstration website, we have an index page for the services. And the services in this example, we have a red, a green, and a blue. And, and But if you wanted to make this a link to that page, the red service page in our navigation, what we would simply do is, one, we need to find out what that page URL is. The URL is the web address for that particular page. It's unique, um, and we're going to copy that. And let's go into the dashboard. We're going to go and edit our pages. So let's click on Pages. Services is the index page that we wanted to edit. And you can see right here, this was that introductory text for red service. We wanted to make this a link. Simply here in our little formatting bar, we click on the button called Link. Now we're going to paste that URL we had copied from the browser for red service page. I'm going to click OK. And now you can see that all the necessary formatting has been added automatically for us. Let's go ahead and do the green and the blue pages while we're here. Now, before I showed you, by clicking through to the red service page, we could grab that address right out of here. A little shortcut, simply in your navigation, go to the next item that you wanted to copy a URL from, and try right-clicking with your browser. And you should see some sort of set of options um, similar to this, where you would have copy link or copy URL. Whatever that button is, click copy, and now that has copied it to your clipboard. If you go over into the dashboard, go back to the services page that we were editing, highlight the green service, click link, paste right into that field. Now I got the address for the green services. And likewise, I can do the same thing for the blue. Go back to blue, copy it, highlight, paste, and then update the whole page. That's going to save our changes. And if we go back and refresh the services index page, now you can see each service has a hyperlink to that respective page on the website. If I click on green, it'll take us to green. Now let's talk about linking out to other websites. Say you had some partner websites that either belong to you or close business relationship, and you wanted to have a link to them. What we would do is, again, in the dashboard view, editing the particular page that you wanted to have that outbound hyperlink on. We would go and highlight the text, click the button for link, and you would type in whatever that address is. If you wanted to go directly to the website homepage, or if you wanted to go a little bit deeper into uh, one of the subpages, typically the recommendation would be go to a page that's relevant to you. So if your services are all about a particular topic or product, then link out to a related website that's also about that product. It's not always appropriate to go and send to the home page. Sometimes you want to link a little bit deeper to whatever was relevant from the page that you're coming from. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to go and throw an example, uh, just a, a home page. I'm going to click OK. Now what's going to happen here is when I save this, you're going to see that I'll refresh the page. I've added this link. And if I click on this link, the page that we were on, your website, is now reloaded with somebody else's website right there. That's not necessarily the best user experience for you, for your purposes, because now you're replacing your own web page with somebody else's. And perhaps you want to go and, and keep your web page website open on the desktop of the visitor and maybe direct them into a new browser window where that related website could be. So I'm going to show you how to go and make a simple little change that'll change that user experience, and that way your site's going to be present. When we pasted this URL in, um, what we need to do is just make a little bit of a modification. Right here between the closing quote and this closing bracket, we want to insert a blank space and type in T-A-R-G-E-T -E equals open quote underscore B L A N K, close quote. That's all we need to do. So we've just inserted this blank space target equals quote underscore blank, close quote. Now, if I update the page 
and we go back to this refresh it we have the same URL but now it's going to open in a separate browser window when I click this a new browser window has opened up with that related website so now the the, the visitor has both websites open on their desktop and can click between and decide to you know if they're going to get distracted and read somebody else's website they can close and they'll be back on yours as soon as they're done so that's just a nice little tip so when you're linking to existing pages within your site you don't need to have this target equals blank when you want to link to a page outside of your website and open it in a separate browser window simply insert this little bit of text